With many plant lovers looking for natural alternatives to commercial fertilizer, homemade options like rice water are being considered. But is rice water something you should really be feeding to plants? Rice water contains a small number of beneficial vitamins and minerals, and the high starch content can provide energy to beneficial soil bacteria. However, rice water can also feed harmful bacteria in the soil, which can lead to severe fungal issues in plants that rely on organic matter to thrive. Whether you soak or boil rice, the leftover water will have some effect on your plants and soil, but not always for the better. Keep watching to discover the pros and cons of giving your plants rice water, how to apply it, and some good alternatives to consider. Guide to using rice water for plants. Rice water has fairly low NPK values nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, so it can't realistically replace a balanced fertilizer to deliver all your plant's needs. But let's look at how you can put it to use with your plants. Soaking versus boiling. Is there a difference in the water from washing or soaking the rice versus the water you get from boiling rice? You can soak raw rice grains to let them swell and enrich the water or use leftover water from cooking rice, but boiled rice water will be slightly more beneficial. Soaking the rice removes the outer layers from the grain. This method leaves behind fewer nutrients in the water compared with boiling the rice since the addition of heat helps to leach out a greater number of macro and micronutrients. The benefits. Ben from Seattle Garden Fruit says the starch is the key ingredient in rice water. It feeds the beneficial bacteria lactobacilli, which helps feed good mycorrhizal fungi, strengthening plant roots and making them more resistant to disease. The minimal NPK content may also favor crop production when used alongside stronger organic fertilizers. The disadvantages. The carbohydrates and the starch are a double-edged sword for your plant. They can harden the soil attract starch-feeding pests like spiders and ants, leave a sour stench as rice water ferments within days in high temperatures, provide food for bad soil bacteria, overwhelm plants since many root systems cannot absorb carbohydrates. Can rice water kill plants? When rice water ferments in the soil, it accelerates the decomposition of organic soil mediums like moss and bark, which may lead to root rot and other fungal issues for plants that favor richly organic substrate like veggies, orchids, and many other flowering plants. Rice water nutrients. Soaked rice water is rich in vitamins B6 and B12. B6 protects plants against cell death, but B12 is not actually needed by plants. Boiled rice water, on the other hand, contains vitamins B, C, and E in addition to magnesium and zinc. Collectively, this helps protect photosynthetic tissues, promotes greener foliage, and strengthens stem development. How often can you use rice water on plants? Rice water should be used no more than once every two to three weeks due to the rich carbohydrate content and soil hardening quality. If you do use it, it's best to apply it to your plants at the seedling stage when they are most active and require a gentle boost. How to use rice water for plants? soaked or boiled rice water cooled to room temperature can be misted on your house plants applied to the soil of garden plants or given by top watering simply transfer the strained rice water into a mister spray bottle or watering can you could also use the bottom watering method on house plants or outdoor container plants so the nutrients are thoroughly absorbed by the soil and roots just place potted plants with drainage holes in the base in a tray of rice water and let it sit for 15-20 minutes. Allow pots to drain fully afterward. Alternatives to rice water. If you're not sure about using rice water, you can also explore some other alternatives. You'll want to do more research on the best practices for each, but here are some to consider. White vinegar, coconut water, potato water, green tea, compost tea, worm casting tea, seaweed tea, nettle tea, and dandelion tea. Now, before you go watering your plants with rice water, I think you should consider the possible negative effects that come with it. I think a good, natural houseplant food is a good option for most. But if you're just itching to give it a try, I suggest you start by feeding a plant you don't mind losing. If the test goes well, you can look at expanding this practice to more of your plants. As always, if you found this content valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more plant care tips and growing information.